Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. And just like also to introduce the gentleman who are here with us, Presidential Advisor on Military Affairs, Arthur Tabaquero, Under Secretary Rinaldo Mapago, AFE Chief of Staff General Carlito Galvez, Lieutenant General Rolando Bautista, Major General Perfecto Rimando, the officers, enlisted personnel of the 5th Infantry Division, ladies and gentlemen. I would have wanted to just talk to you. Hindi kasi ako sanay magbasa. Usually I just would want to talk to my troops uh, para masabi ko rin ng ano sa loob ko. But the problem is uh, I'm having constraints with the uh, night time. Naka mag-chopper pa kami doon eh. So I will just read, but uh, ko sa inyo, uh, I think we are winning the war, finally. Uh, maraming front sa Mindanao bumagsak na, especially on the right side, eastern. Dabao, Agusa, yung banda. Dito sa western, wala naman yung silang malakas na front because the Moros are there. At ang Amoro naman, hindi naman talaga papayag na they were become too powerful over the area. So dito lang sila sa central pati sa... And I think that uh, kung maawa ang Panginoong Diyos, this will be over uh, by about this second quarter of next year. And rami na kasi nagsusurrender. And ang maganda dyan is ang armas. Usually, hindi talaga nagdadala ng armas. It's a... a Anatay, ano yung kanila, bawal na bawal, papatayin ka talaga. But this time, they are, are coming down at uh, nagsusurrender ng armas. At pati yung mga leader nila, mga PO, nagsurrender. So malaking bagay yung ano ang sinasabi nila. Uh, Nakapag-trabaho uh, yung intelligence uh, based on what uh, the surrender is uh, or surrenderers are uh, telling them. Dito, uh, just a matter of uh, ragtag pa, ano, except uh, maybe Samar. Samar, uh, Quezon. Dito sa Isabela, medyo hindi na masyado. Uh, kaya, I will just read my speech. Just the same. It is in honor of of my soldiers. Today I stand proud as I speak before some of the most courageous men and women of our country. Your unwavering dedication to duty is a testament to your commitment to protect our people and reminder of your oath, sworn oath to defend the nation. By being here, we also honor the sacrifices of our wounded and fallen soldiers who have fought for the freedom we currently enjoy. In fact, the confirmation of the order of Lapu-Lapu to four of you today is proof of your patriotism and bravery in face of danger. The development of our nation has always been hindered by insurgency and terrorism. I therefore commend the active involvement and relentless efforts of the 5th Infantry Division against the various threat groups in your area for operations. The presence of the NPA's renderers is proof of the 5th uh, ID's achievement and collective resolve to restore peace in our land. Because of your valiant efforts, we have convinced hun almost 100 NPA surrenderers who decided to return to the forge of the law, and we also successfully recovered 45 firearms. We continue to rely on the assistance of our troops, especially in the relief and recovery of com communities affected by Typhoon Ongpong. Alam mo, no na maraming nagre-reklamo, that was an election promise. Hindi ako namumulite ka, hindi na makatakbo eh. So, inuna ko, kasi alam ko yung, matagal kasi akong mayor. 
23 years uh, sa Davao. Ano siya sila kilala ko lahat, da, da, daan, ng, daan ng Mindanao. Uh, almost kaibigan ko, lahat. Ngayon, alam mo, in times of emergency, yung civilian leader, in times of crisis, wala kang ibang matawagan, especially mobilization, armed forces, pati police talaga yan. Pag may baha, sunog lahat, ang isusubo mo, gera, pati patayan, ang polis, pati ang sundalo. And that's why sa campaign ko, kasi campaign promise, I said, pag ako ang nanalo, dudublihan ko ang inyong sweldo. True enough, <laughs> punta ako doon sa binget kahapon. So, nandoon si... Albayalde, sabi ko, sige pa ba sa huwag ninyong hintuan para naman ang mga tao hindi maano, kasi may naririnig pa daw, ganun na ganun. Whatever. Sabi ko, we are not yet in the retrieval. Recovery pa tayo. So, retrieval is more or less yung ano na lang ang naiwan. Uh, ngayon, sabi ko, sabi, ilan ang nandiyan ngayon? Sabi niya, almost 300 policemen are digging since yesterday. O, kaya sabi ko, kita. Nabi ko doon, sabi niya, kita mo, sino man ginagawa ninyong basurero, sino man ginasawa, ginagawa ninyong trabante, eh di ba sundalo pati polis? Dublado nga yung dapat kulang pa yan eh. So, in my time, I gave you everything. In my time, lahat na hiningi ninyo, binigay, lahat medisina, May nagka-problema lang tayo, nagalit ako, but uh, I hope that the leadership of the AEP will be uh, uh, well, good enough to restore yung lalo na yung mga... Hindi talaga papayag. Hindi papayag na. So, I told them to just, uh, I hope it will not be repeated again. Ganon ang trabaho ninyo. The Filipino people are grateful for your heroism, and as your commander-in-chief, I assure you that you are not alone in this fight. You have my full support, and I stand by you as we secure a safer and future for our children. The path that we have chosen is one that is difficult and one that requires selfless dedication. Know that the government will provide you and the tools and the resources necessary to effectively perform your mandate as protectors of the nation. Alam mo, totoo lang, panahon ko, yung AAP hospital ninyo has 50 million a month. Medicina lang. And Bilona has another 50. So, wag akong makakarinig na wala ang medicina ang sundalo. And right after Marawi, Nag-release ako ng separate 500 million for intervention lang sa mga medisina rin ninyo. Aside from the 50, kasi karamihan ng mga sundalo matatanda na may management, high blood, kidney. So, sinigurado ko yan. At yung PGA, sabi nila na walang pera palagi ang Pilipino. Uh, Pati mga doktor na ang nagko-contribute na lang doon para makabili. Ang pobreng Pilipino, tinawag ko ang chief nila. Sabi ko, magkano ang ano ninyo yearly? So, siguro mga, I, I, I don't know if I heard it correctly, mga 36 million. Sabi ko, isang 100 million Makatulong yan. Sabi na, sir, malaking tulong yan sa taong bayan. Sabi na, yearly, sir, sabi ko, no. 100 million a month. Kayo. Kanandyan yung mga espesyalista natin. And I want that all my injured uh, shoulder, uh, soldiers, rather, yung mga, ano ninyo, must be yung titanium. Ayaw ko yung plastic-plastic na. I want uh, a titanium uh, 
yung prosthetics for uh, magamit. Ayoko yung mukhang plaster cast na uh, gusto ko titanium uh, para sa mga napinsala nating sundalo. And I will always take care of you for as long as I am the President of this Republic. Now more than ever, we need to we need reliable and determined leaders who will continue to fight against the ills of society and help us in realizing our shared vision of a stronger and safer nation. Alam mo ang sinasabi ko talaga sa lahat. Kasi kanina sa meeting and any other meeting, alam mo sabi ko pag wala tayong law and order, pati ang corruption nandyan, di talaga ang atlapin. Maniwala kayo, baski gaano rin, you can die five times and this country will never improve. Kailangan talaga matahimik at maraming makapunta dito, walang kidnapping, walang hold up, walang patayan, walang droga, at ang korupsyon sa gobyerno. Yan ang, at ginagawa ko lahat yan because ang promises ko noon, crop and corruption, ginagawa ko. Hindi ko lang talaga kaya lahat sa sabay. Sabi ko, droga, alam naman ninyo, ilang demanda na ako ngayon. Sabi ko, hindi ako makialam sa pinansya ng gobyerno. Walang transaksyon sa gobyerno na papel na umaabot sa mesa ko. Lahat yung contract about MRT, train reclamation, doon lang yan sa cabinet member. Hindi yan umaabot sa ano. Wala ka talagang maturo sa akin. Because I do not sign anything. And I do not intervene. Kaya yan ang pangako kung wala kang makita sa akin. Ako tatrabaho lang. Yun yung promosyon ninyo. Ang madalas kong kaharap. Kasi pag na-promote na yung isa, wala nang katapusan yung papel kasi promote lahat eh. May mag-retire dito sa Navy, retire sa Air Force, akyat lahat, firma na naman. Pareho-pareho lang yung pangalan, iba-iba na lang ang ranggo. With your bravery, nasayin niyo ako, intindihan ko trabaho ninyo, and patriotism. Pareho lang tayo. A ako, trabante. I do not... Narinig ninyo ako nagsabi nga President Duterte. Have you ever heard me talk about myself, President Duterte? Or calling myself President? Or calling Malacanian Palace as a palace? Sige daw, mag try to remember. Ako, pag mag-address ako, Kasi huda ko sinong kaharap ko, sinasabi ko, kung tayo-tayo, we are all workers of government and we work for the people, period. And if I want to see you, <laughs> hindi ako na yung sabi na you go to uh, the palace o Malacanian palace, I, I just said, go to my office. Magtanong saan ka nakatira sa Pasig, hindi ako nagsasabi yung malaga niya. Kasi nakukurnihan ako. Kaya tawagin ninyo ako, totoo lang, alam nung mayor, do not address me as president, hindi kita sasagutin. Dadaanan lang kita. Say, mayor, mayor, oh, ako yung tinatawag mo. Oh, mayor, Presidente, maghanap ko ng iba dyan. With your bravery and patriotism, I am optimistic that we will one day defeat all threats to our sovereignty, improve the lives of our people, and strengthen the foundation of a more inclusive and progressive tomorrow. Maraming salamat at mabuhay ang 5th Infantry Division. Puro masatabang. Thank you very much, sir. At this juncture, may we invite the president for a photo opportunity. 
the batch one. May the I call uh, General Bacaro? Yung medal po no na. Sir, lahat na idol ko yung... Medal for Balor. Yes, sir. Happy birthday, sir. May... Bong. May ibigay ako kay... Bukas ka ng... No, but the gift. Yung maganda. Ha? Hindi magandang babae, mag magandang sa amin. Magandang bagay, no? 